Hello, let's continue learning Adobe Illustrator. Now we're going to learn the path tool. Now let me move the controller to this area. We already know how to have an artboard with grid. In case you don't remember, let's go to the top menu, view, then select where it says show grid. In my case, I had hide grid, but I'm going to do it with you. View, show grid. This is a new document, okay? We're going to continue working on it. Now, we already seen the tool selection tool. We know that we can transform and we can move an object. We know that we can rotate and we can change the size. We have seen the line segment, just the one that is below, that if you click and hold, you're going to have different options. You can do lines that are going to be straight, curves, you can do a polar, you can do um, spiral, and you can do a, a rectangular grid. So these are the tools that we already seen. What else can we do? The main reason for using this is a guide, you know, to help you to do straight lines and to do the drawings. We're going to make it a little bit more, not complicated, a little bit more pro. If you want to do a drawing, like I just mentioned, for example, you want to do a cup, you want to do a lamp, you want to do a plant, you want to do something, how can you do that? The tool that we're going to use is called pen tool. The shortcut is P in your keyboard, okay? La letra P. When you click it, you're going to see this icon. I have it enlarged, so the video is going to be easier for you to see it. So, how does this work? As the line, it starts with a point, one point. Depending where you move is where the line is going to go. So, if you go to this area, it's another point. You can start doing something that is going to have more life. You know, the pen tool is going to help us to do a drawing. Now, I'm doing this texture with the line. How about if I want to continue here? Automatically, the pen tool is going to give me this line. Hmm, and maybe that's something that we don't want. So what can we do? I'm going to press Command Z, that means undo. If you have a PC, it will be Control Z, Control Z, Commando Z. And I can, if you double click it here, nothing is going to happen. So don't double click it. I know that the first thing is like, I double click and that's it, not here. Right now we're using this tool and the tool says, okay, you're going to do a complete object. You're going to make it something that is going to close because you, if you want lines, there is a line segment. So one option will be to go to the top menu, select, and then select shift command A, okay? In my case, I prefer shift command A, but I have to show you where it's like, the route for you to find the solution. So this is how it is done. I mean, right now, the the drawing is fi finally done. So if I want to continue, I'm going to have it just like this, okay? I am doing this because I want you to practice, because I want you to have, you know, you have to exercise your hand and you have to exercise your brain. So please do the same thing that I'm doing and do the practice, it's going to be helpful. Puritita, verdad? So I'm going to do another one. If you press shift, you're going to have straight lines. If you don't press shift, you're not going to have straight lines, okay? I'm just going to do these three that are going to be important. So once I have it like this, it's like, oh, Brenda, piece of cake, super facile. I'm the machine, you know? The reality is that, well, this is like the first step. We're going to complicate a little bit the pen tool. If you click and release the mouse, and then you go, I don't know, to the bottom, click and hold it and drag it to the right, you're going to have a curve. Remember the curves we've seen in the past video? Well, now it seems that it has two, two things right here, two points. And how about if I do that? Huh. That means that I can continue and draw a circle, for example. I can continue and draw a face. I can continue and draw something that is going to have a round shape. So if I want to have a round or curved result, click, hold, move it to the right, release, click. Every time you do one click, automatically it stops creating the curve. But if you click and hold it, the curve is going to be done. Again, click and hold click and hold. 
let's see to the other area i mean this one is like a I, i'm doing some some booties not right now i'm going to do some boobies so how does it work it goes here and here click hold click hold so please try to do it in case you have a mistake right for me it's a mistake you are going to learn how to fix it but first do the exercise you can pause it i'll be here i'll be waiting okay so welcome back in case you pause it and you do the exercise what else are we going to see as we have seen the selection tool we can move right we can rotate we can i don't know place it in an over other object for example like this one now the white arrow is called direct selection tool as the video is showing to you it transforms that means if you have something that is straight you can make it curve but if it's curved you can make it straight now how does it works when you select the direct selection tool automatically this is going to happen you don't have any longer the frame that you have with the selection tool remember that you have a frame that you can rotate and so on here the points are going to be seen if they are all in blue like I have it right here, that means that all of them are selected. So if I move one, all of them are going to be moved. Now, if I just want one specific point, what can I do? I'm going to get closer, okay? So uh, I am pressing a spacebar and command to get the zoom tool. In case you don't like that, here you have the zoom tool, okay? Z. So. I just want to edit this one. You see that this one is in blue, but the rest are in white. That means that this is the one that I'm going to be transforming. For example, I'm going to be moving to this area. Again, if I select with the direct selection pull the white arrow, I'm going to be capable to just transform one point. In case I don't do that, for example, I'm going to have all of this and I move, in this case, let me see, I, I'm selecting the line. But, for example, I have this selection and then I select direct selection tool. All of them are in blue. Now, when I have a straight line, usually this small circle that you see here is going to appear. And automatically at the side, you're going to see that there is a small curve that is telling me, hmm, you can make it this round, you know? So how does it work? When you come here to the point, the white and then blue, you click and hold and as all the points that I have right here are selected all of them are going to become curves as you can see the result here let's try here just in one specific point right now I just selected this point so only this one is going to be transformed into a curve okay these arms that you see here I, I call them R's or arms okay bracitos because ah, it's Brenda so the good thing about them is that you can change the direction that you want of the curve by moving them, okay? So there are like multiple functions that you can do when you're using the direct selection tool. You can go back, you can transform it here. For example, here, I'm going to move it here or I'm going to become it straight. Now, the same thing happens here. I'm going to select it, let me, I want all of them with a curve, it goes like this. I want a specific point, you have to click the point. This one is the only one that is going to be transformed. This one is going to be the one that is going to be transformed. What other things can I do besides changing, you know, to curve and straight? I can move the point. I can move it here. I can move this one here. Or I can even delete it. Mm. You see? My face of mm, is because somehow you're going to make two separate lines and maybe that's not what you need. There's another way, we'll see it, but let's go step by step first. So I'm going to undo this. If I have a curve, remember that I told you that if you do something wrong, you can still fix it. That's the good thing about knowing how to use the tools. Maybe this doesn't look good, it doesn't look good, and you want to change it. So you can select a specific point and then 
for example here I'm going to change how it goes and instead of having it here I'm going to move it here so you can move the points you know you can move it to the area or the place that you want them and then you can have the result that you need for example here I'm going to change it here because I don't want them to be overlapped and here you have here you go now how does it work for example as a curve you see that there is no curve close to this area because it's already a curve they already know that it's like that so every time I use the direct selection tool I'm going to be capable to do something like this okay now it seems so hard not exactly it depends how you use the tools now let's get it a little bit rougher rough 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 I'm going to add a new page I'm going to do it here so we already know how to make the curves I'm going to focus on curves because uh, most of the things that we do they have curves okay so we already know how to do this please do it do the practice don't think that ah it's really simple because once you are using the tool I've seen it in many years I've been teaching since 2003 I have been a teacher for 21 years, so I know sometimes you believe that you know it because you've seen it in the video, but once you are in front of the computer, you're like lost. So do the practice. Then please try to do something like this. You come here, something wavy. And once you have something like this, let's erase the curve. How? I'm going to do this. I'm not going to tell you how, but I will, of course, once you try to do it, okay? So I'm going to do this. Maybe I'm clicking something, maybe I'm not. You never know. So let's do the practice and try to have this as a result. I'm going to do it this way. It's like going back to preschool. When you're learning how to do this, then life is going to become easier for you. Okay, so pause the video, do the exercise, and I'll be here. I'm not going. I'm not leaving you. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay here. So in case you are capable to do the first line, you are capable to do the second line. And now let's see three and four. Maybe if you were paying attention, you were aware that when I click it, hold it and drag it, I usually go to the middle and click it. That means that I'm deleting this arm that helps me to have the curve. Imagine that a curve is like a hug. Let me go back, you know? And when you keep taking me this, it's just one hand, right? The one that is going to be curved. The same thing happens here. When you click it in the middle, automatically you delete the other arm. And if you press sh uh, shift, you're going to be capable to continue with a straight line, for example, here. Now, if I click and hold it, ah, so every time you click and hold, a curve is going to be resolved. Why this is important? Well, let's go to the internet. Why not? Um, line art. So you can see some examples. Let me see. Oi. No Montevideo, my apologies. Let's see some examples here. If you want to do something like that, everything was made with pen, but it has a curve, right? The same thing happens here. Or even here, as you can see in Adobe Illustrator. So life has curves straight lines yes but not in everything and if something is you know alive it has curves so that's why it's so important for us to understand how to draw them because mostly all of them even a dog has a curve you can see that this and you will be capable to do it in just a couple of minutes okay so remember if you click and hold you're going to have a curve if you go to the middle and delete it you're going to have something that is going to be straight. Now, have you seen this? I just made these two part of one. 
What does that mean? As I mentioned before, a line segment is going to be individual. But when you use the pen tool, you're capable to do a lot of things. You can do something that is going to be complete, okay? An object that is going to have a specific shape. So, for example, right here, I can come here and close it. Every time you see this is more so a circle at the side of the pen tool, the software is telling you that you're closing the object. That means that you're going to be capable to apply color, texture, um, to apply gradient. For example, I'm going to show you this. You're going to be capable to do this. Now, why? Since the uh, previous video, we place here that no color. I will show you why. Imagine that you have lines. This is not a closed object. This is just lines, right? And if I have a color, this is going to happen. Okay? That's why I decided like um, for you to not have a um, fill color. The same thing is going to happen here. Let me select another one. And you were going to be distracted because right now we're not talking about color. We're talking about lines and the basics, points and lines. So this is like the pen tool. And again, uh, the video is going to tell you how to use it. They're not telling you that you have to hold it <laughs> to draw. I do. And as we have seen in the line segment, we have other three options. Okay. The white uh, triangle at the corner is telling me that there is an extra thing that we can do. So let me select this one. I'm going to take this away, the color. And I'm going to make it simple for you because I don't want to make a long video. So I'm going to select the one that says add. Add in Spanish, agregar. That means that you can add a point. You have to, um, to click specifically in the line because if you click it outside, you're not adding to a line that exists. Why are you adding? Maybe because you want to modify it, you know? Maybe you want to have an extra. Delete anchor is going to do the opposite. You click here, here, and here. Remember when I made the face like, ooh, when I press a uh, backspace? Well, that's the thing. Here you have the tool to delete. In case you click and this window appears, it's because you're not clicking a specific, a specific point. So you have to get to it and do it, okay? And this one, you're going to love it. Anchor point tool is going to help you to transform and edit something that was not exactly the result that you were expecting. For example, you have this one and uh, ooh, this doesn't look so nice, right? This area is like, when you select this one and you click it, automatically it's going to help you to transform it into a curve or a straight line, depending on what do you prefer. For example, again, I have this one. I can delete the point, of course. Let me do it with the lid. Pass. But maybe that's not what I wanted. I wanted to have something that has a curve. So I'm going to select the anchor point tool. And if I hold it, I'm going to be even capable to continue giving movement to this. So this tool is going to help me like, okay, if I have something straight, I can make it curve. If I have it curved, I can make it straight. Example again, here. Okay. Now, if I click it once, so what else? Every time I have this one selected, the pen tool, the add anchor point, the delete anchor point and the archon point tool, I'm going to have something available at the top. I don't know if you've seen it, but every time we have been using this, this has been available for us. The handles or the bracitos, the anchors, los puntos, and we can even delete. How does this work? This one is telling me, okay, if you have something that is curved and you want to have a corner, this is the tool that you have to use. Maybe here it doesn't work, but here it works. For example, I'm going to select this one I'm going to select the pen tool. Let me see. Ay, ay, ay. I'm trying to show you and here you have it. For example, I'm going to select this point is the one that I have selected. Yes. I want to have um, this one is better to have a corner. So I click it and it's here. That's why I prefer the one that is right here. The anchor point tool because it's like easier, right? Like the result that you're going to have. Now, if I select this one, you see that it's going to change. Corner, curve, corner, curve.
here. And this one is going to help me to delete the point. So I'm going to select this one. I prefer to do it in the line because that's my personal style. But if you prefer to use the, the one that is at the top, it's up to you. Another tool that you have available is this one to cut the path. That means that, for example, in this um, specific line, now let me share like the one that is at the bottom. Maybe I want to have both of them separated, okay? So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to cut it. I want them to be separated in different, you know, objects. So I'm going to cut, let me turn the stars, here you are. And here you are. That means that I'm going to cut from here to here and here, and here, and here. I don't know if you can see that uh, the thing that is in blue, I cut it here to this area, and this is separated, okay? You can select a specific part. Instead of using that one, there is a tool that is called scissors, uh, right here, but we're going to see it in a couple of videos, okay? So for now, because I don't want to make a, too long, uh, you know, the video, I don't want it to be too, too long. This is how we can use the pen tool. Any questions or that? Let me know. Do the practice. I want you to be capable to do curves with no problem at all, because right now we're going to get things, um, you know, like we're going to start changing lines, textures and so on. So it's good to feel good right now using the pen tool so we can continue. Okay. Have a wonderful day and take care.